I'm Michelle Collins, Certified Nurse Midwife and Professor of Nursing at Vanderbilt University, talking about placental delivery. The delivery of the placenta is one of the stages of labor. The first stage of labor ends at the point where the woman is completely dilated and begins to push her baby out. The second stage of labor ends with the birth of the baby, and the third stage of labor begins uh, with the uh, birth of the baby and ends with the birth of the placenta. So you must give birth to, to both the placenta as well as the baby. And the placenta is the organ which sustains the baby's life in the, inside the mother's uterus or womb. It's attached to the baby by a cord which is about 21 inches long, and that cord is attached at the baby's umbilicus right here. Here. So when the baby comes out, um, after a period of time, there, the cord clamp is put on and then the mother is cradling her baby. So the placenta is still inside and the body must now give birth to it. This part of the cord would be uh, coming from, proceeding from the vagina, and this is what your provider would be seeing. This part is still inside the uterus. Now the uterus itself has to contract to give birth to the placenta just like it does to give birth to the baby. Now this stage of labor generally can take up to about 30 minutes, sometimes a little bit longer and sometimes a lot less than that. A key thing is patience on the point of your provider, that, that there's no rushing of the delivery of the placenta and there's not a lot of pulling or um, mashing of the uterus, uh, massaging of the uterus to try to get it to come unless there's a specific reason to do so. Some things that can help encourage the placenta to come are to get the mother sitting up, uh, either in the bed, sitting on the toilet, something like that, just to get gravity working with her. Also to put the baby to the breast, because just as the, the stimulation of the nipples helps the uterus contract, that will help the uterus to help expel the placenta. Some signs that the placenta is ready to be expelled are a lengthening of the cord proceeding from the vagina, a gush of uh, fresh red blood that would indicate that it's separating from the wall of the uterus, and the shape of the uterus becomes somewhat more globular. And the mother might feel a sense of heaviness or pressure or that she needs to push, just similar to what she felt as the baby was getting ready to be born. So as long as mom is stable, um, the best thing to do is to just be patient and wait for it to come.